I'm guessing you're here because you're thinking about turning welding into a career. Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm guessing you're here because you're thinking about turning welding into a career. And I'm gonna put this little video together here today, go over a few of the things, the expectations, uh, what the welding career can bring to you, uh, maybe the path on how you wanna get into the welding career, the fields you can get into, and of course, what everybody wants to know, how much money am I gonna make? So all of today, I'm gonna to go through, um, you know, in the beginning, myself, I was uh, self-taught or learned on the job, so that is an avenue you can go. It's kind of the hard route, but it's worked out for me and it can work out for you and it's worked out for a lot of people. If you know nothing and you really wanna get into the trade, well, there's two places you can start learning. You can go to college, you can go to trade school. Um, and then I'm gonna go over the fields that you can get into. Maybe some of you just wanna to learn to do this for ornamental stuff out of your garage. There's the repair industry, the construction industry, shipbuilding, the structural side, the shop welding, that stuff. And then there's pipe, and we're gonna go over some tools, and then, uh, you know, what to kind of expect on the job. So for starters, you've got the college route. It's probably gonna cost you about $5,000 to go through some college course. And, uh, well, that's not crazy for college education, but me, I have been all through the trade. I've worked with people over the years, people coming in. I currently manage a medium-sized fab shop, and, uh, thing I would say about college education is they're going to teach you to weld and that's all they're going to teach you. You don't get a lot of uh, practical like actual skills or trade. You're just going to know how to pull a trigger, strike an arc, whatever it is. You're not going to have anything really more than that. And uh, if you want to get into more than just bottom dollar welding, well, then you're going to need to have a little more skill than that. That's where trade school. Trade schools are definitely probably the better route to go. They do cost more money. Um, you're probably looking in a five to $15,000 range. And that depends on if you have a trade school somewhere near where you live. Um, so, you know, the trades, you're gonna learn to weld. You're gonna learn to fit. You're gonna learn all the different types of welding. You're gonna learn a little more practical stuff that you're gonna bring a little more uh, knowledge and skill to the table when you get out and you start looking for your first welding job. So anyways, like I said, there's the ornamental stuff. Um, it's kind of a niche deal. It's kind of more for the hobbyist. The, uh, I don't know, it's, it's gonna be a hard living doing the ornamental stuff. You know, maybe it's something you wanna do at night, after work, make a little side money, maybe it'll turn into something, you know, but really the ornamental thing, if you can do anything with it, you might make a few hundred dollars here and there selling some yard art or sculpture or whatever. Maybe you go to, oh, like these uh, uh, trade shows or little town festivals or whatever and sell your stuff. You know, that's not a bad thing if you want to do it on the side, but you're not gonna make a living doing that or it's gonna be a really hard road. The next thing is you get into like, you can do the repair stuff. That there, it, it can go both ways. There are some companies that offer that, but what you're gonna see the most part in the repair is you're going to see mostly guys that are working for themselves, which that's a good thing. And that's a way to make really good money. Um, you know, if you work for somebody doing that, you're probably only gonna make in the 20 to $25 an hour range. You know, that's making a living, but not a great one. Um, you do it on your own, well, then you're gonna have a lot more investment in your tools and in turn, you're probably gonna make a lot more money. Construction, you're gonna be erecting buildings, you know, construction stuff. Um, a lot of those are union jobs, so in turn, that's pretty good money. It depends where you're at in the country, but you know, union pay is in the 40s to $50 an hour. That's a good thing. The thing about when you're doing construction work is you're always in the weather. You're gonna be wet when it's raining, you're gonna be freezing when it's cold, you're gonna be sweating your butt off when it's hot out, but sometimes making money isn't easy. And then there's a huge industry, but this industry kind of only counts if you live on the coast or somewhere around a big body of water, you can be the into the shipbuilding. Now shipbuilding, that's by nature you're on the water, that's a wet, cold, seasonal, 
that's a you know that's a way to good, make good money also shipyard welding you can make in the 30 to 40 plus dollar an hour range but if you're starting out it's going to be hard to get into a trade like that it's you're going to have to start somewhere small learn your craft build a resume then you get into the shipbuilding deal uh what do we have now uh it's structural welding slash shop welding that's a that's a really broad deal but mostly that's just falls under like welding in a shop you get to go to the same place every day which is really convenient that's what i've chosen to do with my career it's worked out pretty good for me um you are going to be on the lower end of the pay to start out in welding in a shop you're probably going to get somewhere like 20 dollars an hour it might be less it might be more in some places of the country it's uh it's been going up which is a good thing and uh the good part of that is you're mostly indoors can't say you're gonna have a heater but you're out of the weather that's that's better than you can say in most of the other welding areas you've got um, structural like you're building columns for buildings for skyscrapers etc you've got what i do is i build aerospace tooling lots of platforms lots of tooling building machines on and on and on and well there's your kind of structural shop welding deal. In that realm of things, you're gonna make in the probably 20 to $40 an hour range. You can get higher than $40 an hour, but don't aim for that right from the beginning. That's a, once you're a journeyman, really skilled fabricator that can fit, can weld, can do it all. Um, what do we got? Then pipe. Pipe is really where the money's at. There are, no matter what you do, if it's even local, you're going to travel because pipe work, it just, it happens on site. That's why you make more money. And then there's the road warriors that travel around the country. And when you're going to make the big money is high pressure piping, oil, gas, things like that. And then nuclear, nuclear also, that's making big money. But when you're doing that, you're not doing it with a maybe $500 investment in tools. If you're going to chase money like that, you're most likely going to have your own rig. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be, uh, well, if anything, you're not going to be home much. And I will say you might make a lot of money doing that stuff, but it's really hard to have a family. So, you know, if you're young, you're skilled and you're ambitious, it is a good way to go get a head start on life. That's for sure. You can make, I mean, the hourly could be 40 to infinite. And then on your on the road, most operations pay per diem. So that's paying for your room and board. Meanwhile, you're making a bunch of money. You're gonna work 10, 12, 14 hours a day. You're gonna work five, six, seven days a week. But you wanna make 100, 200, $300,000 in a year, you're gonna work your butt off. You're gonna be skilled, but there is some payback in the end. So that's kind of a brief outline of what, uh, what to expect in the different uh, fields of welding. Obviously, from the beginning, you're gonna get a shot. You're gonna go to school, you're gonna learn the basics of the trade. You might be the best in your class, but you're not coming out making $40 an hour, I promise. If I was to restart my journey and go back 20, 25 years, uh, what I would do is I would go find myself, if I was in high school, I would uh, go, take advantage of one of these trade schools. Some schools have a welding program. Some schools have like a regional welding program that you can leave school and go do and earn your high school credits. I would do that. If you don't have the ability to do that or were beyond high school, I would definitely take advantage of some kind of college or trade school. Colleges, there, there's community colleges in every town, so that might be the better option for some people. But I would really, if you have the, the ability, I would really take a trade school course and you will have many more skills coming right in from off the bat. Then from there, you can take a job, beginning anywhere. Sometimes it's not what you thought you were gonna get into, but it won't take long before you build that skill set and your employer will pay you what you're worth or you will have a resume that warrants you going and finding a job that will. And myself as a, an employer or a manager at an employer that is in charge of uh, the fabrication department at my company, I am seeing a real lack of people that wanna come in and actually work for their money and a real overload of people that took maybe a quarter of welding in high school and think they're worth $30 an hour right off the rip not going to happen. You're not going to find that job. So welding has been a great career for me. I have about a dozen guys that work for me 
that also it has been a great career for them and they're going to continue to do it and i hope that this video was a little bit of information to get some more other people here in america mostly mostly in my area of america um, hopefully this is some good information what to look for maybe how to navigate your way through learning how to get into the welding trade and uh it's been great for me and it could be great for a lot of other people it could be better for other people so anyways thanks for watching and uh, go ahead and check out some of my welding how-tos. That might be some information to get you going with uh, learning the basics of welding. Anyways, that's enough out of me. Hope to see you out there someday. Thanks.